Welcome, this is our team. Luisa Fernanda Machado, Mayra Mesa, and Cesar Diaz, and I, Harry Benitez. We created a video explaining the use of the five competencies with some examples, described in the article Translation Competencies by Zainura Men. We can identify the transfer competence in translation on the following test, between the devil and the deep blue sea. If we transfer into Spanish, the translation would be Entre el Diablo y la Profundidad del Mar Azul. And with the same example, we can recognize linguistic competence when we translate it onto Spanish as Entre la Espada y la Pared. Subject competence. In terms of subject areas, an example could be literature translation, in which is adapted written literature from one language into another. Translator may translate any number of documents, including journal, articles, books, poetry, and short stories. The subject is related to creative writing, where it must be created a new text in the target language that produces the context and the style of the original. Now let's see an example of a sentence from an original file. With a library of information at your fingertips, you will certainly find ways to make your toolbox talks come alive and be interactive. The literary translation could be Con una biblioteca de información en la punta de sus dedos, seguro encontrará formas de hacer las charlas vivas e interactivas. This translation reflects the idea of the original document, but the writing lacks polish. A new version can be Mediante el uso de la información de la biblioteca, seguramente encontrará consejos para aportar mayor interacción y dinamismo a sus charlas. In the second version, the message is more direct because the writing is more fluid. Textual competence. Textual competence is usually known by, by the conventions used when you are trying to, trans to translate a text depending on, on its genre and, and the type. Because, for example, it's not the same to translate a pragmatic textbook where you usually have way much more freedom as long as you keep the information on it, if you don't change it, if you don't change the meaning. Then, translating a mathematic textbook that is usually more tight and prescribed, so you might have to keep word by word in the translation process. Some paragraph or expressions in salt language might have different ways to express in target language. This is the reason why a translator must have cultural competence of both source language and target language. An example of cultural competence should be People in China and the outside world is actually changing how the people think about freedom, individual thought, individual choice, and that's a kind of like a grassroots revolution. We can recognize in this example cultural competence in the next words. Grass, roots, and revolution, which in Spanish means césped, raíces y revolución. Its real translation in Spanish is, por así decirlo, es una revolución de base.